The Iranian military recently invited Iranian journalists into the 313 strategic unmanned aerial vehicle base buried under the Zagros Mountains, which run along the majority of the Iran-Iraq border and reach heights of up to 14,000 feet. While Western reporting tends to focus on the underground nature of the base, the majority of the Iranian press, including the official Holy Defense News Agency from which the accompanying translation is excerpted, focuses on the Hader 1 missile and the Hader 2 drone. The Hader 1 missile has a reported range of around 120 miles and can strike targets at speeds of up to 600 miles per hour. According to Iranian press reports, the country's Fat Rose and Cayman 22 drones can launch the missile. While the missile's range itself may not be impressive, the Fat Rose drone reportedly has an operational range of approximately 1,250 miles, a flight endurance of approximately 30 hours, and a ceiling of 25,000 feet. This would place the entirety of the Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman within its range. The Iran Aviation Industries Organization designed and produced a FATROS drone as an air-to-surface missile platform. The regular Army's Air Force uses the Cayman 22, which is a multi-purpose platform with a 620-mile operating radius and a flight endurance of approximately 10 hours. It can be fitted for offensive, surveillance, or electronic warfare missions. Iran first unveiled the Hader 1 missile attached to some of its helicopters in 2019. At the time Iranian military spokesman said it would be drone launched as well, and so this current announcement seems to follow through on this claim. The nature of the Hader 2 cruise drone is less clear, but it appears to be an upgraded kamikaze drone. The line between cruise missiles and kamikaze drones is sometimes blurry. Iran points and shoots cruise missiles to target shipping and stationary targets and seeks advantage from a cruise missile's faster speed. Kamikaze drones are also guided onto the target but are a multi-use platform as opposed to the single-use cruise missile. Over the past five years, Iranian officials and state media have touted the indigenous ingenuity in the Islamic Republic's mass-produced Mohajir-6 combat drone, which Russia has deployed in its war against Ukraine. But a new investigation by Schemes, the investigative unit of RFERL's Ukrainian service, has found that electronic components underpinning Tehran's production of the Mohajir-6 are far from homegrown. The Mohajir 6 drones contain components produced by companies from the United States and the European Union, both of which have sanctions restricting the export to Iran of such technology that can be used for both civilian and military purposes dual-use technology. The presence of these components in the Mohajir 6 does not mean their producers are in violation of US or EU sanctions, and RFERL does not have evidence that this is the case. The investigation also found Mohajir 6 components produced in China, including a real-time mini-camera made by a Hong Kong firm that said it was very sorry that its products were being used in war. At least one major foreign-produced component of the Mohajir 6 has previously been identified by reporters in a Mohajir 6 recovered from the battlefield by the Ukrainian military.
an engine made by the Austrian manufacturer BR Pirotax GmbH and Company KG, a subsidiary of the Canadian company Bombardier Recreational Products. But Ukrainian intelligence assesses that the Iranian combat drone contains components from nearly three dozen different technology companies based in North America, the EU, Japan, and Taiwan, the scheme's investigation has found. A majority of these companies are based in the United States. A schemes reporter who personally inspected the foreign-made drone parts identified components produced by at least 15 of these manufacturers. These include parts made by the U.S. technology firm Texas Instruments, which said in a statement that it does not sell into Russia or Iran and complies with applicable laws and regulations. To identify these components, Schemes reporters examined parts of the Mohajer 6 drone that the Ukrainian military shot down over the Black Sea, near the Mikhailov region coastal town of Ochakov. They also reviewed Ukrainian intelligence records on the sources of these components. The drone also contains a microchip bearing the logo of a California technology company and a thermal imaging camera that Ukrainian intelligence says may have been produced by a firm based in Oregon or China. Both Western officials and experts on illicit technology transfers say Iran has built a broad global procurement network using front companies and other proxies in third countries to obtain dual-use technology from the United States and the EU, 